life, do you know what it's time for? Oh, wow, get your face ready, ready now. Oh, what? You don't know how to do it? Okay, you need red key. How? Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. We are so close to the finish line. This is our 23 of Garbage Day 3, Garbage Year 1, 24 Terrible Hours 4. Uh, this is WikiHow the Home Game, the Championship Edition. This is a project years in the making, uh, arbitrarily, because uh, what we've got here is we've got uh, the four victors uh, of the inaugural uh, WikiHow the Game Show uh, yeah, in Portland, you. Oregon. <laughs> uh, we've got uh, the winners of that particular uh, event, uh, Kumquat Stop Shell Game, uh, Achilles Heelys, and Jimmy Franks. Uh, and then we have the winner in my heart, uh, <laughs> who uh, was Kathor Jensen, because in Portland, Oregon, he drank his own piss. Uh, they are going to be up against uh, our... Uh, our, our, our competitor from our, 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 our round in, in hour eight, uh, J.W. Friedman, uh, who handily uh, won his round. And so this is the championship. It all comes down to this. And in all of the time that I spent prepping not one, but two different websites for this project, I neglected to think of a prize. So I guess it's bragging rights. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and with that, come quad stop, sing it again. <laughs> oh boy, do you know what it's time for? Oh wow, get your face back right now. Oh what? You don't know how to do it? Okay, you need red key. How bye. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Kumquat. Bunny bread. Yes. Bunny bread. Is it time? Is it time? Is it time? Uh, Achilles Healy's is actually our first, uh, our first competitor. Oh my! Oh my! Well, Achilles. After serving 15 years in San Quentin for Funko Pop trafficking, our next contestant has created a scared straight program telling his story to nursing homes nationwide. From constant honking noises, New Mexico, Achilles Healy. <laughs> yeah! Oh my God! Elegant future. Or wait, no, elegant fugue. Elegant fugue? Oh. Wow. wow. That is that is amazing. That is amazing. Thank you so much. Thank Holy you. crap. Thank you. Wow. Holy crap. Uh yeah, we are uh oh my god, more. <laughs> Achilles, you're not going to get to speak, so just sit down. And, uh, That's fine. Uh, That's but I'll, I'll probably and, and Albert and Albert's way. Raven. Uh, yeah, no, uh, we are on our uh, 23 of 24. So uh, let's see how high we can get. Achilles Healy's, are you ready to push that button? Hell yeah! Achilles Healy's, push that button. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes it takes a bit. I'm just still pushing. Right. Still pushing. Uh. Yep, there it is. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, looks like Achilles Healy's, uh, you are going to be making money as a nerd. <laughs> I mean, oh, I, this I is do a, that. This is, oh, how? How? Uh, as soon as I uh, give you the link, I yeah. will be pushing start. So Achilles Helios, your time begins now. I need access to this document. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Well, uh, yeah, Wait, your no, time, Achilles. And, uh, okay, and your time. Uh, you've got access to the yeah, document now. Okay. According to popular culture, it's a good time to be a nerd, which we'll define here as a uh, socially awkward, unstylish, high-achieving type, usually the particular cultural or intellectual obsession. While grown-up nerds tend to make more money than others, nerdy teens can find traditional jobs like flipping burgers far from intellectually stimulating. With a little creativity, though, young people can find many ways to make money without having to sacrifice their nerdy ways. Oh. 
<laughs> Tutor the non-nerds. Maybe they ignore you or make fun of you. But when they need to get a B on the final to avoid failing the class, they'll be willing to pay for your nerdy expertise. You may be able to work through official channels at your school or spread the word with postings. So the yeah. non-nerds would be bothered by a B? Yeah, you know, um, I assume. I don't really talk to them because they're not really yeah. people. That makes sense. But uh, that's, what I, that's what I guess, you know. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm, I, you got to really submit yourself to the science. Researchers at universities and medical centers regularly seek out members of the public for various clinical trials. If you let them pick your brain or perhaps prick your arm, depending on the type of trial, you will likely be compensated for your participation. Such trials usually don't require all that much time or effort on your part either. So nerds should do like clinical drug testing? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, yeah. Just, you know, just take, just take on a, you know. Experimental Rogaine? Untested drugs, um, <laughs> so you know, nerdy. psychological studies. It's nerdy and, and <laughs> your nerd status may serve you well here also. Some trials may be looking specifically for high achieving types or those who excel in particular intellectual pursuit. Um... You gotta sell your creative output, baby. Perhaps your nerd <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> Perhaps your nerdiness has a more artistic bent. Do you write fan fiction for your favorite <laughs> fantasy or sci-fi series? Do you write songs or create shorter films? It is easier now than ever to, before to share your artistic output with the public and to make money while doing so. The internet, of course, will be your main resource for sharing with your, your work with the public and selling it to them. How to make money as a kid from your computer offers some solid advice on this topic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to link you to that if you want that. Yeah, I would, I would very much like that. Thank you. Um, in the meantime, assist the technophobes. Computers are just the beginning, of course. The smarter our homes and lives become tech-wise, uh, the more people will seek out those with expertise for assistance. And when people need help with their technology, they tend to want someone who looks, sounds, and acts and gets the job done like a nerd. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Poorly and, and bragging about it a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and explaining things to you the whole way. You see this, you see this propeller on. This could also be about sex. It's all for the upvotes. <laughs> a few of the many tech tasks people might pay your to do oh in setting up wireless networks and devices digitizing voda videos and photos and documents <laughs> providing smartphone tutorials and setting up personal or business websites anyway enough of this dumb nerdy bullshit let's learn some real shit how to make money is cat walking on keyboard says here is some money i made as a nerd <laughs> <laughs> it's just that Thank easy you. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure all of us here made money as nerds. If I guess. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Listen, do you need extra pocket cash but aren't all that interested in mowing lawns or flipping burgers? Uh, if you have a computer, yeah. an internet connection, some free time, you can start earning money doing the things you love without having to leave your house. From That's an illegal point. Bitcoin. Bitcoin. <laughs> Bitcoin. Come on, Bitcoin. Come on. From playing games to publishing stories, making money on your computer is easier than you might think, especially for kids. Um, selling your stuff in your time, sell your old toys, games, and other items online. Uh, that's boring. Whatever. Let's <laughs> take more stuff. Uh, complete online surveys. This is another area where there's legitimate money available, but also a lot of scams and fraudulent sites. Consult with a knowledgeable adult before getting involved in any pay for survey schemes. Like most things in life, if it seems too easy to make money doing something, the odds are good. Oh, oh no, the time's running out. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Create a blogger podcast. Oh, that's where the money is, baby. If you have a gift of gab or a welcoming voice or have a knack for the written word, one of the options may be good for you to make a few bucks online. And, uh, oh, uh, sell computers. And <laughs> nine, eight, uh, seven, six, five. Uh, designer set up websites. That's where the money is, baby. Bye. <laughs> Uh, that was some real good nerd ASMR. I really like that. I'm sold. Yeah. <laughs> thank, you, thank you. My neighbor is sleeping in the next room. <laughs> and it's got that classic. I it's got that classic. I I can only voice this if I quiet so my parents don't wake up. <laughs> yeah. So it's very nerd. If I, oh if yeah. I'm too loud, I stop making money online. <laughs>
<laughs> they can't know about all the money I have. <laughs> uh, Bunny Bread! <laughs> what do we got up next? Our next contestant recently had a manscaping accident and leaving him medically deceased for 29 minutes. After being revived in the ER, he reported his brief experience in the afterlife as seeing nothing except Fast and Furious movies in Spanish. From, we'll think of a title later, Nevada, Jimmy Frank! <laughs> Jimmy Franks, how you feeling? You feeling good? You feeling good? Are you feeling ready to win? Bert, Bert, in my skirt, skirt. <laughs> <laughs> my car goes, skirt, skirt. <laughs> All right, Jimmy Franks, are you ready to push that button? Let's push that button. Jimmy Frank, push mm. that button. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, Jimmy Franks, has everyone ever told you you sound like Pooner? <clears throat> I said that once to him. He got really offended and punched me. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy Franks, it is time for you to tell the home audience how to make butter toast. It's significantly longer than the one Healy's got. Your time begins now. What? <laughs> okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. Thank you for uh, uh, joining me here at the Ramada Inn uh, for my presentation on how to make butter toast. Uh, it's one of the easiest grab-and-go meals you can make. You can jazz it up with some jam or jelly, or just keep mm. things plain and simple. Making toast isn't just geared toward the toasted either. Try these different methods to find your perfect buttered toast. Method number one, making toast in the toaster. This is my <laughs> Here's an image of making buttered toast. Step one, choose your bread and place it in the toaster. Any okay. bread works for buttered toast. Well, White, okay, brown, professor. God damn it. Nope, I had to have bread. Fuck. <laughs> And then there's an, a, a, an exhaustive, a comprehensive list of the types of bread that you can use to make a toast. Uh, see Appendix 1. Uh, each one will give you a slightly different flavor and or texture, so pick your favorite. Making bread in the toaster is perhaps the faster and easiest way to make bread. Yeah, no? Okay. Uh, use this method if you're pressed for time. Uh, step two, choose <laughs> to make bread for your toast. Choose the toaster setting. Your toaster probably offers options for how dark and crisp you want the toast to be. If you're not sure, start with a light setting. You can always put the toast in for a second round to get darker, but you can't do anything about toast that's become too dark. <sighs> Step three, remove the toast. When your toast is done, take it out of the toaster. If you think it's dark enough before it actually finishes the toasting cycle, pop it in manually to save oh. it from burning manually yeah. okay so i shouldn't like get a robot to do it no 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 it's it's uh, not an automatic uh situation you really want to want some quality control uh oversee the uh you know each step of the operation what micromanage some... your toast <laughs> some sort of rube goldberg setup maybe <laughs> step four butter your toast use a butter knife to spread butter over the toast while it is oh. still warm if you wait until the toast is cooled the butter will not melt into the bread Cut the bread into halves or quarters before you eat, if you wish. It's really hard. Uh, now, warning. Lots of butter will likely make your toast softer as it melts, and less butter will keep your snack more crisp and dry. The amount of butter used is based on personal preference. Let's move on to method number two. Making <laughs> buttered toast on the stove. Whoa. That's right. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we're kicking it up a notch. Okay. That's yeah. okay. All right. Um, yeah. Put on your big, big, big grown up pants because we are about to use some heavy equipment. Uh, once again, step one choose your bread. You, you know, a tender bread like oh, shawla and bread. brioche uh, <laughs> can't take as much heat, need shorter cooking times. Uh, here's another list of bread just in case you don't know what bread is. I step just two, bread. Heat the pan. <laughs> Turn the burner on the stove to low and place a half teaspoon of butter in the pan. Let the butter melt. Make sure to use real butter and not margarine. Who toasts their challah? <laughs> the toasted challah is really good. You're being a fool. Okay. All right. All Step right. three. <laughs> Toast the bread in the pan. After the butter is melted, place the bread into the pan. Make sure the bread soaks up the butter. Place a lid over the pan. Let the bread cook for two to three minutes. After two to three. It doesn't. Okay. Yeah. Uh, on low. Uh, I just want to make sure that he gave you a temperature so you're not setting the house on fire. Uh, after two or three minutes, flip the bread over. Make sure the other side of the bread soaks up some of the butter in the pan. Place the lid back on top and let this side toast for two to three minutes. 
Step it's four. Remove the pan. No. Uh, step four. Remove from the pan. When the bread is brown to your desired level of crisp, take the bread out of the pan. Do not add extra butter after it's taken out of the pan. Uh, I presume step five is eat it. Uh, method number three, making buttered toast in the oven. Step one, preheat your oven. You want to use the broiler. You can bake it in the oven, but it takes longer and isn't necessary for toast. The broiler, that's uh, okay. All right. That's yeah. pretty quick. Well, that's well, we want to you know, we're speed up the operation, so we're yeah. just going to fucking put it in a blast furnace. <laughs> Step two, spread the butter on the toast. Use a butter knife uh, because it's just there's just it's just step one, heat it. Number two, butter it. Step three, <laughs> put it back in the oven. <laughs> no, we didn't put it in the oven yet. Wait, oh, we'll butter it first. Oh, gosh. Okay. All right. I, I track now. Place the bread oh, into the oven. Okay. Put the bread into the broiler. Or onto the wire rack if you're using a toaster oven. Let it cook for two to three minutes. Make sure to keep watching the bread. If you like your bread lighter, don't cook it as long. Uh, if you're using what? a toaster oven, you probably won't have to flip it over because the bread will cook on both sides. Uh, step four, fucking eat it. Uh, <laughs> there's a, no real reason, but is there any reason? We need to move on to questions and answers. We don't have, look, we got, ten, we got 10 seconds for questions and answers. A uh, question, what do you call toast only brown on one side? Uh, half done toast. <laughs> Englishman in New York says, I like my toast done on one side. Uh, can we substitute butter for olive spread? Don't know. What if a fire tries to start in my toaster oven while trying to toast a buttered bread? Fuck, man, I don't know. Uh, when uh, uh, making buttered toast in a pan without a lid, do we put it on three to four heat and let it sit for two or three minutes? Or can we just keep it at medium heat? Oh, 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 oh. Jimmy Franks, everybody. <laughs> Spectacular. That was that was informational and educational, uh, and also uh, yeah, uh, Portex is beautiful mind toast. <laughs> was very good. Solve for bread. Money <laughs> 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 bread. After oh sorry. <laughs> yeah, again, again, again. After her off-Broadway one-woman production of The Sound of Music, our next contestant was the sensation of the theater world, though many critics are still wondering why she was in blackface throughout the entire run. From <laughs> all goddamn New Jersey, Shell Gay! <laughs> Go! Just start with some slander. <laughs> <laughs> really, really negative reviews on that. <laughs> it, it was an artistic statement. I I thought about it. I think it was a good artistic statement, though. No, I, I, statement. I've reconsidered it. it. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shell Game, are you ready to push that button? I, yes. Shell yeah. Game, push that uh, button! Okay, I, I'm, I'm, I think I'm pushing it. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Why did you, yeah. Why did you put it in that weird place, Lemon? <laughs> yeah. Why, yeah, why, why, why do we have to put our hand? Solve the three keys. <laughs> <laughs> and pass all those sharks and score. Why do I put my hand in a god's oh. bar before I press the button? <laughs> all right, show game. It's time for you inform the F plus audience how to hog tie someone. <laughs> oh, oh boy, <laughs> I would love to. <laughs> all right, show game. Your time begins now. Hmm, hmm, hmm. How to hog tie someone? If you and your partner want to spice up your sex life, you might decide to hog tie each other. Hog tying someone involves tying their hands and feet behind their back, then binding their wrist and ankle cuffs together. Before you hog tie someone, make sure you get their consent and stop immediately if they change their mind. While your partner is hog tied, stay with them the entire time and free them if their skin changes color or they feel pain or numbness. No, here's method one. Tying their hands together. Oh, okay, okay. So I don't need a hog for this, is what you're saying. No, no. Okay. Well, yeah. you, can call, you can call your partner what you want as long as it's consensual. Oh, Step oh, one, oh. ask your partner to lie down on their front. Choose a comfortable surface like the bed or a carpeted floor. Then get mm. them to lie down with their legs straight and their arms at their sides. Let, let them turn their head to the left or the right, whichever is more comfortable. Variation! 
If you and your partner are beginners, try reversing the position and having your partner start on their back. Then tie their hands and feet to the front of their body to make oh. it easier on them. Oh, I thought by reversing the position, you would tie them up and then ask them to tie you up afterwards. <laughs> no, Just no. kind of wiggle around. <laughs> <laughs> Step two, lift your partner's arms up behind their back. Bring your partner's hands behind their back like they're being arrested. <laughs> Place your partner's hands over their waist or bum so that they can comfortably hold the position. Their oh, elbows British, British should detective. have a slight bend in them to avoid strain. Elbows have a bend in them? Huh. Mm, yes. Step three. <laughs> Fold a rope in half and thread the ends through the loop to make a cuff. Create a loop by folding your rope in half, then hold the rope behind your partner's hands. Wrap the ends of the rope around your partner's wrist and insert them into the loop. When pull the ends of the tight hoop. Pull the ends to tighten the rope around your partner's hands. This helps <laughs> this helps you tie your partner's hands together safely. Once the cuff is secure, it shouldn't tighten up on them. Step four. <laughs> wrap the ends of the rope around their hands in the opposite direction. After you cinch the rope around their wrist, reverse the direction of the end of the ropes. So many then, times. wrap the rope around the outside of their right wrist, bring the rope around and wrap it along the outside of the left wrist to complete the second loop. Be careful that you're not pulling the rope too tightly! Step 5. Loop the ends around the center of the rope and not it. B. Bring not the... It. Huh? Not it. <laughs> bring not it bring the end of the rope uh, over the center of the bring the end of the rope and over the center of the loop you made around your partner's wrists then wrap the ends of the rope several times to create a binding cuff finally knot the ends of your rope to secure the binding you can use any knot that you prefer if you don't have a preferred knot try a square knot or an overhand knot to tie an overhand knot hold the two rope ends together and make one strand then make a tight loop at the base of the rope near the cuffs and thread the ends through the loop tighten until you have a knot method two i will mention that there's q a at the bottom of the duck oh boy well method two is binding their feet <laughs> so <laughs> i don't know that these thing, are actually different feet. methods so much as it's just a different part <laughs> of uh, hog tying them. Anybody out I... there prefer a loose hog? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I like uh, you know, I, I, I think you get the basic idea. If you don't know how to do square knot, um, f fuck you. Why are you tying? Why are you tying your partner? Uh, so yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. The community has some questions here. Uh, qu and uh, here's a question. Hey, question. Uh, is it okay if, if they don't have pants on? <laughs> well. <laughs> No, oh, Geneva okay. Convention space specifically. Uh, c community answer? It depends on what the person you are tying up wants and if they don't mind being tied up naked. <laughs> they also don't have a shirt on. Uh, why would I need to use this technique? Well, community answer is... <laughs> <laughs> you can use this technique for tickling, just for fun, possibly revenge, etc. I like that someone would get to the bottom of a WikiHow article and go, why does this exist? <laughs> no, well, uh, why would I want to do this? Can it be used for self-defense? <laughs> can be the answer to that. It's for self-defense. It's more of a role-playing thing for couples to do together. Um, let's see, uh... <laughs> <laughs> is there any way the person could escape from this? Well, as long as the rope work on the hands is good, then there's no way that someone could escape in an hour. Uh, however, it is possible to stretch the rope over a period of time, and depending on the person's hands, even slip out of the knot. Now, uh, uh, here's a question. Can I use it on myself? Seven. Oh, uh, but, 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 you could, but you're trying four, yourself four, up. Four, no, 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 someone will tie you up. Fight! Time's up! <laughs> Give it up for Shell Game. Uh, yeah. uh, the thing that uh, that uh, you, you may be aware of, and I hope you are aware of it, is that at the end of these readings, uh, you in the Twitch streaming uh, F Plus watching audience are going to decide which of our competitors is the motherfucking best. Uh, and Bunny Bread? Mm -hmm. Any more contestants for me? Ah, uh, let's see here. Uh, no. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. There's just a few more. A professional chef. Our next contestant is the author of Now You're Cooking with Benzos. With forward. <laughs> <laughs> 
from the third stall down at the Wendy's bathroom. Come, Quatsa! Come on down! <laughs> <laughs> uh come quads up uh just before uh you push that button i just want to spin back just so we can take a moment to appreciate uh the happy bondage pig yeah, happy <laughs> yeah. yeah. it uh, describes my relationship with twitter <laughs> <laughs> a million percent agreed <laughs> yeah poor text that is awesome uh, come quads up. Are you ready to push that button? Why do you know what it's time for? Oh, well, get your feet ready right now. Oh, what? You don't know how to do it? Okay, you need red key. How? Bye. I'm assuming that means you're ready to push the button. So here you go. <laughs> the button is inside. Come quads up. <laughs> That's why we've been having so much trouble. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, I, us, I, I did eventually reach it, though. <laughs> <laughs> Come quads up. Um uh you I, f- I froze my <laughs> button and put it in an egg and then pressed it and then <laughs> Come quads up. Uh you were going Happy to Easter. tell the plus audience how to make it rain money. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes. boy. I hope this is completely literal. <laughs> and yeah. your time begins now. Hi, hello, how to make it rain money. Making it rain is when you hold a stack of bills in one hand and use the fingers of the other hand to pay off bills one at a time in rapid fashion and or throughout small increments of bills on valets, doormen, dancers, and prominent cheesesteak shops. Yes, that's what I normally do. to do it to doormen. How else do you get a cheesesteak? Thank you. Hello. Yes, the bills float in the air, creating the effect of raining money. This is usually done with stacks of single dollar bills for effect. Is it Monday morning, a holiday, or just whenever you feel like? Wonderful. Time to make it rain. Part one, keeping it traditional. Step one, get some money. Unfortunately, making it rain money doesn't mean calling on the rain gods to summon dollar bills from the clouds. You need to get your hands on the green backs yourself. So find a job. How about your neighbors and cash those checks? Go to the bank and ask for one dollar bills. The more bills you have, the better. You want a veritable downpour, not a drizzle? While you're at the bank, check to make sure the stacks of one dollar bills or twenties, if that's how you roll don't stick together sometimes fresh bills all crisp and hot off the presses adhere to each other if this is the case ask for rainable bills excuse me yes hello teller i would like rainable bills please please go back in the vault i demand the teller if they have any sense won't ask any questions the two drawers rainable and non-rainable slowly moving towards the panic button Hold the money in one hand in an orderly stacked pile. You'll be holding the money in your non-dominant hand and making it rain with the other. Make sure you have a firm grasp on the entire stack so none of it gets away from you. Only hold as much money in your palm as you can handle. If it goes too far above your fingertips, things could get unruly. Or someone could run off with your cash, keep the rest of your stacks nearby, any break in the rain, and the effect just won't be the same. (laughs) Step three, peel the money off in a motion that resembles an I'll stay signal in blackjack. That is your reference point. Thank you. Yes, hello, goodbye. You know where you place your four fingertips on the top of the top bill and brush it away from you. That I'll stay signal sort of resembles a no more hand gesture, but only gesturing forward. Thank you. Try to go as quickly as possible at a speed you can maintain evenly. Move your hand holding the pile to the left and right, making it rain all around you. Walk around, leaving a trail of rain wherever you go. Thank you. Step four, maintain a carefree and arrogant countenance while making it rain. When Kanye makes it rain, no one bats an eye. That's not what they do. If Honey Boo Boo were trying to make it rain, thank you, a few eyebrows would be raised. Okay, maybe not. Would they? I don't know, but the sentiment remains the same. Act like this is just your normal Tuesday afternoon and the ground being rained on by you isn't worthy of your footsteps, much less your cheddar being a good starting point. Try wiki how's how to think and act like a player. Player. 
you want your face to say, I don't give a day, um, and simultaneously, you're welcome, suckers. <laughs> Part two, getting creative. Step one, use a fan. You know what can blow money all around a room and keep it flowing way more effectively than your own bare hands? A giant fan. Set it on a high level with enough room in front of you with your stacks of cash. Turn it on the on position when it's not plugged in. That way, when you go to plug it in, you're in front of it when it turns on, ready to get rained on and rained on and rained on with your dead presidents swirl through the air. Step two, make it rain over people. Sure, you could make it rain by yourself. You could run around in your room studying with the dough raining on your bed as part of your nighttime routine and then go to sleep comfortably on your piles and piles of simoleons or <laughs> or you could take your stacks and liven up any party a coffee date with a friend or dinner time with your parents think of the endless possibilities you'll probably want to coordinate together beforehand springing on them could result in them diving for your cash or thinking you're a money grubbing materialist oh yeah and you who knows yeah no hey Maybe they'll want to make it rain with you. Talk about a flood of money. Step three, drop it from a helicopter. Go big or go home, right? Yes, if you're going to make it rain, might as well make it rain. If a helicopter isn't ready available, find a high point you can drop it from. The rooftop, the Eiffel Tower, a mountain. Just be ready to make the news. For the record, you won't be getting your bucks back back. The wind can be a cruel, cruel mistress. Oh, yeah. <sighs> Step four. Think of it as charity. Who it's says you have life. to make it rain in the comfort of your own home or outside in nature? Walk into your local <laughs> Starbucks and get to precipitating. Or get to step the Starbucks where everyone can afford $4 lattes. Yeah, that's a, yeah. Right. Make it Seven, rain at your six, local homeless shelter five, or well, Walmart. Four, what better three, way to get active two, in your community? Four, four. <laughs> yeah! yeah. Yeah. Oh my God! Make it rain on the national network of abortion funds, everybody. Girl, <laughs> drop it like it's hot. I love the way your booty goes. <laughs> Paying for abortions. Paying for abortions. Uh, uh, oh my God. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, uh, Frank West, uh, hundred two dollar <laughs> donation says, please follow Kumquat's ops instruction by taking out this as a hundred as one dollar bills, going to the NNAF headquarters and tossing them on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, we are, we are going to have a hard time deciding who is the motherfucking best. Bunny Bread, we don't have any more contestants, do we? I think you may be mistaken. He's a philanthropist who recently started the Mosquito Rescue Shelter for Emotionally Neglected Mosquitoes. They are rescued, rehabilitated, and then released back into his apartment complex. <laughs> From Bulkin, New Hampshire, Kathor Jensen! Come on down! <laughs> hey guys, I have to be a little quiet this morning because I'm in church. Okay, <laughs> 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 Thor, are you ready to push that button? Okay, <laughs> Thor, you are all about to blow. Oh, got it. Yeah, get that chatter. Making it rain for reproductive health. Sploosh. Please. Come on. <laughs> All right. Uh, spin, 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 spin. Right. K. Thor Jensen, uh, you are about to teach the F Plus audience how to become a Western <laughs> philosophy guru. Yes, right. everyone, mm. sign up for Reddit. Yeah, <laughs> sure Western it. or. Yeah, it's cowboy poetry. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> and your time begins now. How to become a Western philosophy guru. Want to impress yourself with yeah. lots of fancy terms and basic philosophy? Yeah. Great. This is not the place for you. Oh, hell. <laughs> if you have an interest in truly understanding modern... Western philosophy, its impact on current society, both psychologically and economically, this may be the place, this is the most head up your ass wiki how article I think of <laughs> all time, incredible. This may be the place for you. <laughs> After
after completing the following steps, you will undoubtedly have a more intellectual basis than 98% of your peers. A more intellectual basis, okay. In okay. between each step, you will likely begin philosophizing yourself. Step one. Track philosophize down. Philosophize yourself! Philosophize yourself! Please, this is between each step. Okay. Step one. Track down the meditations by Descartes. Ooh. Descartes was considered the father of modern philosophy. He rationalized and defined the precepts of what can be considered true. Mm. Now, begin philosophizing yourself. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, and stop. Okay. Oh. Step two. Purchase a copy of Bertrand Russell's A History of Western Philosophy and Bill <laughs> Durant's The Story of Philosophy okay. and read them cover to cover. Not the right the Bertrand Russell book, but that's fine. <laughs> the specific... The specific purpose of these books is to give you a spectrum slash timeline, an introduction to significant philosophers, and how each of them fit in with one another, what was going on in the events and thoughts of their time, and of course the basic premise of each of their philosophies and major works on the human mind, politics, <laughs> economics, morals, and ethics. Begin philosophizing yourself! Step three. Read Plato. It is arguable which of Plato's dialogues are most important. And okay. after you have read Russell or Durant, you will have an idea of which ones you want to read. So Western, yes. Western philosophy, huh? Absolutely. Okay. Yet, any such list must include <laughs> Euthypro, Apology of Socrates, and Crito. It is hard to find an no, idea in philosophy. philosophy that is not traceable back to Plato. Okay. As such... You do yourself a disservice to not start your readings with the father of philosophy on step three. Similarly, <laughs> you should not neglect his greatest pupil, Aristotle, whose oh Nicomachean God. ethics stands at the head of all ethics, and whose you, metaphysics stand at the head of all metaphysics. You utter fucking dick. So you're just transcribing the wiki, the Wikipedia this, article, the wiki how? <laughs> it's just how it works. That is philosophy. Now, philosophize yourselves. I'm doing it. It's not. Step four. After reading the above without <laughs> skipping ahead, <laughs> next, find a copy of 17th century philosopher John Locke's A Letter Concerning Toleration, a second letter concerning uh, toleration, a third letter for toleration, uh, an essay concerning human understanding, and two treaties of government. The first and the second to last of these works are considered to be the most important works by John Locke, by most. You will Why'd gain you list insight. it like that? <laughs> That's part of the philosophy. I said without skipping ahead. Oh. You will gain an insight into understanding and interpretation theories by sensations and a perfect knowledge or instinct. Note. Thomas Jefferson was heavily influenced by John Locke's ideas. Oh, wow. Yay! Oh, Philosophize yourself during Mumba. John Locke and other characters from the TV show Lost. That's Step awesome. five. After you've swallowed that pill, you'll need to. <laughs> You'll need to move on to 18th century this is not fair. No, it's not uh, no, this is Actually, this philosophy. document is so horrible, I'm in favor of as many umbots as we can get in there. After you've swallowed that pill, you'll need to move on to 18th century philosopher David Hume's An Inquiry Concerning Human Understanding, An Inquiry Concerning the Principles of Morals, and Dialogues Concerning Natural Religion. There are other great works by David Hume, but the three above are typically considered his most significant. David Hume and John Locke. Go hand in hand with one another. That's some David humor, myself. Philosophize <laughs> yourselves now. Uh, okay. Step six. Nope. So much nope. 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 No, no, no. Let's add it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm so I'm as all... <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> 
<laughs> As I'm always, sure. money has money has overtaken philosophy. Yeah. <laughs> so much reading. <laughs> Let's add another. <laughs> I, I'm so what, reading about the philosophy of the 17th century excommunicated Jew Spinoza. You oh, do not read fuck. his works. <laughs> oh. But uh, instead you read about his life. And WhatsApp just oh pushed God. the total to fifteen thousand four hundred and twenty dollars from the National Network of Abortion Funds, uh, and uh, also uh, Poor Tax's uh, philosophizing cowboy uh, was very delightful indeed. Do we have <laughs> one more contestant, Funny Run? You learned about our next contestant last night, but did you also know that he has been the head key grip for four out of the past five bum fights DVDs? <laughs> From technically it's a femophilia, Ohio. JW Freeman, come on down. <laughs> oh. <laughs> JW Freeman, are you still high on your uh, victory from earlier today? Oh, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Okay. Uh, okay, good, 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 good. I don't know what I'm feeling anymore. I knew what my feelings were several hours ago, and now they're all just sort of muddled together. But are you ready to push that button? Yes. All right, I great. Am- Oh, wow. Where'd you hide it this time? Now, so as in all cases, uh, you know, as, uh, as in all cases, uh, what we have is a random selection. So uh, we are providing uh, every one of our contestants with a random selection. And so when you push your button, you are going to be getting a random selection. Here we oh, go. Oh, found it. <laughs> Beep. Beep. No whammies. Come on, whammies. Nothing but whammies. <laughs> oh no, what's this? It's sexy as fuck. Beautiful. Did I get how to be a member of Typo Negative? You got the rule? Uh, oh, oh yes! <laughs> Here's some actual song for you to read out loud. Oh, <laughs> Oh, they uh, are typo negative lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> J.W. Friedman, I was so excited to put this document together. Oh. J.W. Friedman, your time begins now. All right. Uh, here's some actual song lyrics for you to read out loud. <laughs> mm, here's the first one. Typo negative, my girlfriend's girlfriend. For context, typo negative were a popular mid-90s goth band. Oh, it's no secret that we're close. Hey, as sweaty <laughs> Velcro, like latex fur and feathers stuck together. <laughs> now, in their 62 <laughs> vet, sharing one cigarette in a black light trance, then go, go dance, then go, go dance, then they keep me warm on cold nights. Hey. We must be quite a sight hey. in our meat triangle, all tangled. Wow, my girlfriend's <laughs> girlfriend. She looks like you, my girlfriend's girlfriend. She's my girl too, yeah. Her and me and her and she and me. A crowded crowded couple, we are three. We are three. <laughs> hey, we don't care what people say when walking hand in hand down King's Highway. It's a two for one today. <laughs> But my girlfriend's girlfriend, she looks like you, my girlfriend's girlfriend. She's my girl too. (laughs) This public service message brought to you by the American Polyamory Council, Pueblo, Colorado. (laughs) Man, I I love that. We've been anesthesia before, but that audio made me feel cold and wet. (laughs) I used to watch it on. I used to watch that that show on Nick at Night all the time. It's a good one. Um, hey, here's here's one by Five Iron Frenzy called Third World Think Tank. Five Iron Frenzy were an early 2000s Christian ska band. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. I walked up in the room, and she was right there waiting, leaning up the bar while she was perpetrating. Slick as not her spandex and blacker than some coal. She set her gaze upon my booty disco in her soul. So much for indecision, so quick she did decide. The temper through the doors, open me, inviting me inside. I want to take you home with me, sparkle in her eye. I would like to hold me, but I'm about to die. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. I got a time. 
bomb strapped to my chest. Uh, when it blows out of here, you can have what's left. Uh, the room got kind of quiet. You could smell the fear. I only heard the jukebox play a tears in my beer. Give me fuel. Give me five. Give me that which I desire. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Juice and fruit. Oh, it's yeah. going to blow. <laughs> so it's a verdict, Mr. Wynn. It's going to blow. Yeah. I just winked at her and said, I don't know. Yeah. Time I'm ticking in the room. Everybody go someday. Blow so quick that you better be somewhere where it's safe. Thin skin, thread bear, thinking now you're going to die. I don't like the song. I'm going to skip it. Why not? <laughs> yeah, you want to give us four, give us five? No. Apparently, you don't like Five Iron Frenzy. That's weird. Oh, That's damn. Well, I guess there's always one. <laughs> well, okay. This last one we're going to do here is uh, a bit more modern, a little more hip, more what the, with what the kids are into these days. Very, very cool. uh, this is a song called Tutti Frutti. Uh, oh. By, by Lil Richard. Um, that's L I L. Yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. this was before he changed his name to Young Ricky. Oh, why you? And she, <laughs> oh, Ricky. Oh, okay. For your context, Lil Richard was a accomplished and beloved musical icon with a 50 year career of high energy entertainment. Huh. Um, okay, here we go. Wop bop baloo mop balop bam bomb. <laughs> Wop bop baloo mop balop bam bomb. Tutti Fruity. Oh, Rudy. Tutti Fruity. Woo. Tutti Fruity. Oh, Rudy. Tutti Fruity. Oh, Rudy. Tutti Fruity. Oh, Rudy. A wop bop a loom up a lop bam bomb. I got a girl named Sue. She knows just what to do. I got a girl named Sue. She knows just what to do. She rocks to the east. She rocks to the west. But she's the girl that I love best. Tutti Fruity. Oh, Rudy. Tutti Fruity. Woo! Tutti Fruity. Oh, Rudy. Tutti Fruity. Oh, Rudy. Tutti Fruity. Oh, Rudy. A wop bop ba loom up ba lop bam bum. Is this Jimmy Stewart? <laughs> got a girl named Daisy. She almost drives me crazy. I got a girl named Daisy, and she almost drives me crazy. She knows how to love me. Yes, indeed. Boy, you don't know what you're doing to me. Tootie Fruity. Oh, Rudy. Tootie Fruity. Woo. Tootie Fruity. Oh, Rudy. A wop bop a loop bop a wop and boom. Ah! <laughs> what fucking timing that Fruity. Oh, Rudy. <laughs> it, 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 if it's all right, I would like to do something for the uh, the uh, audience that they that they were requesting rather fervently. <laughs> okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. What? You go ahead. Got a girl named Sue. She knows just what to do. Got a girl uh, named Sue. Uh, she knows just what to do. Yes! She got to the east. Woo! She walks <laughs> to the west. That was a wonderful show. Brett Schneider. Thank you. You are welcome. <laughs> and with that, it is time for you, the viewing audience, to decide who of these people was the motherfucking dot best. Uh, in the web browser and uh, uh, device of your preference, go to motherfucking.best and choose uh, which of our contestants was your favorite. We have live polling happening right now. Uh, even though there is a delay, uh, it is genuinely still makes me very excited to just see those results uh, happening live. And while this uh, and while these votes are being tabulated there on the screen, uh, Bunny Brad, anything you want to bring us? I want to bring you motherfucking knowledge. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Let's talk about vaginas. Okay. Oh, we're gonna oh. we're gonna tangle okay. in his meat triangle. Damn. <laughs> wow. All right. It's time for my vagina ductus <sighs> to battle me. You gotta be a nominee. This fool gonna go down as the biggest comedy. I'm gonna put my lock on key. You is not with my me me my level. Whatever. I do. I do better than you do. <laughs> Worse than like I do. You are the worst. You say you the vagina duck, but it looks like you need to quench your thirst. You such a pussy. You need a pussy. What you need new is a goddamn hersey with an urn. <laughs> you make this whole disappear like magic. So call me Orlando. You a pussy. You need to, to be more of a man, ho. 
Shoot you up with the AK. They come out your spine. You shoot them in the air like may day your body they will never find. When we was talking on the forum, they should have been signing you definitely on the furnace level of mine. <laughs> line up the line. <laughs> the cry. I hope you die. He went open the sky. Crack the tip <laughs> to heaven. I'm going to teach you a lesson. I hope with that bullet you got that the message. You're going to need a lot of, of protection. Cut you up my section, my section. As every second and second. Second, second goes away. Our career goes to flame. Your mom screams in pain. I'm gonna come in the face. First, let me get the right aim. This pussy boy lame. You will never have fame. I'm already getting paid. <laughs> I'm oh a slave, you like a slave rage after this. This is my reign. Yo, mama and me was smoking some loud and she was getting high, but that's not the only way she was high and loud. She was like a lion on the dick and she riled and roared. Watch it loud and woke up the neighbors. I had that bitch screaming like she was giving labor. I'm steady getting paper. She will suck me because I'm me, Kurt, and not you. Uh, <sighs> I'm steady getting paper. She will suck me because I made her. You're not on my level or the rap raider. Fuck your mom like I'm your father, Darth Vader. I'll throw her pussy in like your tomato. This lyrics oh. are fun. Like oh. All another <laughs> feel like raiders. Your mom's my waiter. She will cater to my every wish. And my dick is my wishbone. Your mama's really easy to hit on your careers over to get gone. Yeah! Wow. Oh my god. Wow. Things, oh. Are, things are so, so fucking close here. Uh, you know, Kthor, uh, Kumquas up, uh, Jimmy Franks, and Achilles Helios, uh, very well played. The game here is really between J.W. Friedman and Shell Games, so very close. You know, I'm it's bullshit. I took my clothes off and no one reacted at all. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah, but no matter yeah, who yeah. wins, we all win. <laughs> because yeah, everyone had a great winner. time. We hey, you're, have... uh, you're, you're right in there. We keep nudging <laughs> back and forth. There we go. And I am calling it. J.W. Friedman, you are the winner of WikiHow the Home Game. That's really weird. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, as you'll note, uh, uh, most things uh, in this particular uh, 24 hours have been weird. <laughs> yeah, that's that's fair. <laughs> fair. Very fair. Uh, we want to thank you so much uh, for tuning in and keeping those donations coming. Uh, they've been absolutely fantastic. Uh, really, really, uh, really do appreciate it, as does the NNAF. And when we come back, Boots Rainier will be giving you the last hour. The last hour. Also, look at that fucking drawing. <laughs> Wow. God damn. Wow. <laughs> that is amazing. God <laughs> damn. <laughs> uh, coming back uh, with the final hour, Boots Rain Gear, uh, going to bring you something uh, uh, good? No, not good. <laughs> See you soon.